Hi, I'm Andrew Leroy. I'm the uh, senior instructor at Dunwoody College of Technology. And today we're going to do a walkthrough in SolidWorks on how to create a simple part. And it shouldn't be very difficult if you just follow along step by step. And you can pause the video at any time and rewind it and look at it. But let's go ahead and, and make a simple part in SolidWorks. In order to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is go up here and click on the new icon. This brings up a dialog box that uh, I will select creating a new part, which is what I want to create first. So I'll say OK. We'll wait a few moments while SolidWorks brings up the part template. Once I have this screen showing, the next thing I want to do is go to the Tools menu, go down to Options, brings up this dialog box, and I want to select Document Properties. I want to make sure that I'm working in the correct units and the correct standards, so instead of ISO, I'm going to choose ANSI. I'm going to go over to the Units bookmark, select that. And where it says length, I want to make sure that my units are three place decimals. If not, I just click in the box and there's a drop down menu and I can select that three place decimal for that feature. Also for the angular dimensions, I want to make sure that none is selected. So once I have that done, I'll go ahead and click on OK. And now I'll be ready to build my part. In order to do that, I have to locate the part in three-dimensional space. So the first thing I'm going to do is select uh, the plane that I want to draw on. I'm going to select the front plane, and I'll right-click on that. And in this little dialog box that comes up, there's an option to create a sketch. So I'm going to create the sketch on the front plane. So I'll select that by left-clicking on it. The next thing I need to do is select a sketch tool. In this case, I'm going to use a corner rectangle, which is up here in the Command Manager. So I'll left click to select that corner rectangle. And you can see that as I move my cursor down into the graphics area, there's a pencil and a little rectangle attached to it. This indicates that I did select the rectangle tool. So now although I've selected the front plane, I still have to tell the program where on the front plane I want to locate my part. Well, I'm going to use this red origin to do that. And to place the rectangle corner at the origin, I just point the, uh, move my pointer right to that. And when I select, or when it's in the right position, you'll see that little red dot pop up. And when that little red dot is showing, I'll just left click, drag my cursor to the upper right corner of the window left click one more time and I'm still in my rectangle tool so I'll just hit the escape key to get out of that and you can see that SolidWorks has connected the rectangle to the origin I have two black lines and two blue lines and that means my sketch is undefined I can look down here in the lower right hand corner and see that my sketch is underdefined. And all that means is that I haven't uh, given the rectangle a height dimension or a width dimension. SolidWorks knows I want to create a rectangle, but it doesn't know how big yet. So in order to do that, I'm just going to click on the Smart Dimension tool. And I'll come over here and use my reference edge, the left-hand side. I'll click once on that, left-click on that. Drag my dimension to where I want it to be located. Left click one more time again. And we're going to make a 3 by 5 rectangle. So SolidWorks brings up a dialog box asking how big you want this dimension to be. We're going to make this 3, so I'll just type in 3. And then I'll select the green check mark, which indicates OK. Next thing I'm going to do is the same thing to the bottom reference line. And in this one, I want to make 5. So when I get my dialog, I'll just type in a 5. And I can either hit the green check mark or I can just press the Enter key again on the keyboard. I'll select the check mark. So now you can see that the sketch is fully black. 
down here in the lower right hand corner tells me it's fully defined. So I'm ready to go on to the next step, which would be to go up and to select the Features tab up here in the Command Manager. And it gives me several options that I can do. All the rest of them are grayed out. That means that I can't use those yet. So what I want to do is create an extruded boss base. So I'll select that. SolidWorks will turn the part into an isometric view. And it brings up this dialog. And it's asking me, well, how far do you want to extrude that part? And let's make it 2 inches. So I'll just type in 2, hit Enter. And it previews the part for me. And if I'm satisfied with that, I'll just click on the green check mark, indicating that that's OK. And now my part comes up. And if I hold down the middle mouse button, I can rotate it around, check out the different sides of the part. I can use my mouse wheel to scroll in and out. If I touch my space bar, I get an orientation dialog box. And I can use that to look at the front view of the part the left view of the part. I can look at an isometric view of the part. But for now, let's leave it in front view. And I'm going to close this orientation menu. And what I'm going to do in this time is once I have a part established, I can use any of that part as my sketching plane. And I'm going to use this surface as the sketching plane. So if I just right click on that surface, I get this dialog box. And in the second row, there's another uh, sketch option. So I'll select that by left clicking on it. Next, I'm going to go up and choose my circle tool, because I want to cut a hole in this part. And I'm going to place it somewhere on that face. And I want to do it fairly close to the center. So I'm going to left click one time in the center and drag that out to where I want it to be. Left click again. And again, I'm still in the Circle tool, so I'll hit the Escape button to get out of that. And I need to dimension this, so I'll choose Smart Dimension. And for a circular feature, I need three dimensions. I need the size of it, and then I need to locate it. And when we first started this part, we determined that our origin was right here, so that makes this edge and this edge a reference edge, which means that's where I want my dimensions to come from. So let's start by putting in the size dimension for the circle. So I'll click on the edge of that circle. And I'll drag it off the part. In fact, let's drag it up off the part. And we'll make that a one inch hole. And then I'm going to click again on the edge of the circle. And then I'm going to click on the left reference edge of my part. And I'm going to place this dimension below the part. And we're going to make it halfway, so that should be 2.5. Then once again, I'm going to click on the edge of the circle. And I'm going to click on the bottom reference edge. And for the height of the part, I want that to be halfway, so that would be 1.5. I'm still in the Dimension tool, so I'll hit Escape again to get out of that. And you can see that the sketch is now fully defined. It's black. It says down here in the lower right hand corner that it's fully defined. So I'm ready to move on to the next step, which would be creating my three dimensional feature. So I'll select the Features tab up in the upper left hand corner. And this time I have several more options available to me, but I'm going to use the Extruded Cut. So I'll click on that. And instead of Blind, what I want to use is the Up to Next command. This will make the cut go through the part up to the next surface. So if I change the thickness of the part, the hole will always go through the part. And that's my design intent. So I'll just leave it at Up to Next. So go ahead and click on that green check mark. And you can see that the hole has been cut through the part. And again, I can rotate the part by holding the middle mouse button down and zoom in and out take a look at it. Well, that's creating a simple part in SolidWorks. And if you have any further questions, you can contact me or you can contact one of the tutors in the Elfman Center. Thanks for your attention. Have a great day.